Hello everyone, in today's video, we'll tackle a triangle problem involving finding a length where there's an angle bisector involved. I'll walk you through the steps and share some tips for using the angle bisector theorem. Let's dive in. First, to use the angle bisector, I need to extend line BC. Then, from point D, I'll draw a perpendicular extension to BC. And I'll label the intersection point as E. Now, I'll show you how to use the angle bisector to solve this question. Please pay attention to the two right triangles, the green and brown triangles. It's given that angle A, B, D is equal to angle D, B, C, and since both are right triangles, we can conclude that their third angles are also equal. Finally, we can show that triangles B, A, D, and B, E, D are similar to each other by the angle, angle, angle theorem. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to side B, D. B, D is opposite the right angle in both triangles, so we can say these two triangles are congruent. This means that the opposite sides of the equal angles must be equal to each other. So, we can tell that D is also equal to 8. As you can see, there is one more right triangle, triangle DCE. The unknown side CE can be easily calculated using the Pythagorean theorem. Alternatively, you can estimate CE by using the ratio of the sides of a 3, 4, 5 known right triangle. Finally, we find that CE is equal to 6. As we discovered earlier, there are two congruent right triangles, B, E, D, and B, A, D. Since their corresponding angles are equal, the lengths of their opposite sides must also be equal. Therefore, the length of side B, A, is equal to the length of side B, E, which is 12. This means that x plus 6 equals 12. Therefore, solving for x, we find that x equals 6. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more similar content.